Good morning, everyone. It is time for a morning walk. Ah, I love getting up and walking. It just gets my blood pumping, gets me awake and alive. And there's lots of parts of the city that we have not yet explored, so I'm anxious to see. Good morning. Good morning. It is a Sunday morning, and well, yesterday Argentina won to advance to the next round. And so it's kind of the city looks a little bit sleepy this morning. It usually is on Sunday mornings. I believe Argentinians are late night partiers by nature. So <laughs> I don't have the city to myself, but there's not a lot of people out here. So let's go enjoy. So one of the cool things about Buenos Aires is even though it's a massive, massive city, it has a lot of green spaces. And they especially tend to be near these bigger highways. I don't know if it's strategic to set off the emissions or what it is, but it is always nice to have green space to get out where the birds can land. You can walk yourself and the animals, get some vitamin D. Always good. And then actually I think Argentina is home to one of the widest roads in the world. So we're kind of heading in that direction. First, let's talk about where we are. As Snow has told you in previous episodes, there are many neighborhoods or barrios in Buenos Aires. In the last apartment, we lived in Palermo, sort of on the edge right here. And we strolled about and showed you around this cool hipster shopping and dining and party district. Today's walk will take us through Recoleta and Retiro barrows. As a point of reference, to the north is the Rio de la Plata. And if you watched, you know Anna and her family took us up through the north, through Nunez and beyond the city limits to see the river, the Rio de la Plata, and to have lunch a few weeks ago. And again, if you've been keeping up, we explored La Boca, down to the south, where we saw the birthplace of the tango and that magnificent, colorful, and energetic neighborhood. Anyway, today I need a long walk. So, I'm walking through Recoleta and Retiro in search of the obelisk, which is one of the signature and most important symbolic monuments here in Buenos Aires. Recoleta is one of the most famous neighborhoods here and is historically known as the Argentine Paris. In fact, there's some really interesting sites in this neighborhood that Snow and I are itching to go explore. And spoiler alert, it to turn your notifications on, it's coming soon. But this is a random walkabout, and the seven plus mile loop I'm showing you on the screen now was only revealed to me completely at the completion of this hike. In other words, this is a sneak peek of what's to come. This is a solo urban hike, which means I'm traveling very light and moving very, very quickly. Spoiler alert, I need to get in shape for Patagonia. If I see something interesting along the way, well, you'll be right here to experience it with me. Let's go, guys. And here you have it. I'm crossing the widest road in the world, or one of them. I just passed three lanes of traffic. You also have this wide walking area that in places serves as a mass transport pickup. Also place to pick up uh, the subs and all, the subway and all that other stuff. But here's another one, two, three, four, five, six lanes. And then there's probably 10 more lanes on the other side but up in front of us I don't know if you can see it but one of their sort of signature monuments the obelisk 
And so that's going to be my turnaround point for this morning's walk. Actually turned in to be quite a long walk this morning, but definitely enjoyable. It looks like right here they have a theater for a major tango production. We already have seen sort of a roadside show over in the neighborhood, which I kind of like a little bit better. We may go see one of these tango shows. If you love cities, it is almost impossible for me to believe that you would not love Buenos Aires. It's such a beautiful city with so much diversity and just cool little things here and there different and unique comfortable easy walking and the excitement here just over the country of Argentina itself is palpable but this area right here is one I believe they shut down for the Super Art for the World Cup parties and probably any time Argentina is playing but welcome to the Obelisk Lights for living, I don't fight the feeling. Never quite alone, some people rank in it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> this is Avenida Nueve de Julio, the July 9th Avenue. And it is known as the widest road in the world. Now, it only has 16 lanes, so they're talking about the actual width of how long this road is, or wide this road is and it actually takes two traffic signal cycles to be able to get across it so in the middle you'll see a lot of people have to stop no way to make it across it in one traffic cycle might take me four <laughs> one plus one got a ring to it me and you got a whole nother sheet music we can go and see the world right now from the top to the bottom take it upside down you know hey so from the top to the bottom turn it upside down Uh, gotta say it again, no point of living if it's not with your friends Me and homie see the places that we never pretend All the races and different faces put my head in the sand I never could do it I gotta see the sights, keep the meals, keep the rice Give me thrills, be precise, this is ill Party on a city hill, every night keep it real Young and old, everybody here fit the bill It gets ill when you party at night The clock moves slow when you having a time of your life But we can stop what we're doing, see the world right now From the top to the bottom, turn it down Upside down. Hey, sit from the top to the bottom, turn it upside down. Life for living, so I'm living it up right now. Sit from the top to the bottom, turn it upside down. Life for living, so I'm living it up right now. All right, snow has picked the restaurant, La Casana del Nano and it's a hot day today probably in the 90s so it's kind of cool that this place is air conditioned so we ate at an italian restaurant and i think 60 percent of the population here in buenos aires is italian so there are a lot of italian restaurants one of the most common food items ordered on the menu or on the menu is milanesa which is what I had with the salad snow had a salad and chicken it was tasty but now snow is ready to do a little shopping I need some new shirts but I don't want to go to the mall and get expensive shirts because I think I'll just need more shirts in a few months because of all this crazy healthy eating and I do need See if we can find something. Who knows? All right, Snow is able to score a shirt. Mission accomplished, but she's not done. Oh, it might be, but we'll see. Ha ha ha. 
Uh, ¿Cómo se dice large? ¿Largo? Largo, correcto. Largo. Que sean más largas. Remeras largas. Largas. Gracias. Gracias. All right, Snow's getting a little education on Spanish verbiage for the different sizes and styles of clothes. Every day is a learning experience for us here on the road, for sure. Humbling, but every day it's like sensory overload. Snow, you like sharks? Everywhere I go, there's freaking sharks. Everywhere. No, muy difícil. It is hot today, even in the shade. But I managed to find one shirt, a nice bright pink comfy t-shirt that'll be perfect for van life, which cost 3,000 Argentina pesos, which I think is around $10. So, but we only found one. So as we're lingering around the city over the next couple of weeks, I'll be looking for a couple more. But now we're done down here. We're gonna cut back over to Kurt's walk. All right, the obelisk was kind of my destination today. I thought I maybe if I could walk that far, it'd be a good walk. But I'm over here in this neighborhood, and although it's Sunday morning and still pretty quiet, there does seem to be a little more activity going on now as the days progress. And they have a nice little walking street here. So, you guys know me. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> This area would definitely be more like a New York Times Square. Uh, definitely kind of more international touristy with the big venues for the tango and other shows. And as you could hear right there, people are, there's several people down here wanting to exchange dollars for pesos. I've already covered that extensively. Again, this area is not open yet but you can see where some people already have pulled tables out for their for the restaurants. Some of these areas, if you go back in, it looks like they're kind of like mall areas and you can hear people yelling, cambio, cambio, uh, wanting to change dollars for pesos. I also think this is an area where a lot of the city will come down to watch the big soccer games and events. They have a multiplex 4D theater. I don't know that I've ever been in a 4D theater. So that's new to me. <laughs> and we probably heard us talk about Snow's Fear of Sharks. It looks like there's a new Jaws movie coming out. All right, that was a nice detour and I can tell that I'm kind of coming through a little shopping district right here near the obelisk and they have several walking streets and a lot of trinkets, gift shops, souvenir shops and things like that but also just general stuff like clothes and even a lot of the designer clothes place when you go in the first thing you're going to see is Argentina soccer or football attire very popular here especially this time of year and if you walk through this area also expect if you need to change your US dollars into pesos no problem there are a bunch of people cat calling you trying to get you to change but the streets down here are actually really pretty and there's a lot of these I gift shops so if you want the teacups, or there's other things that I'm seeing that seem to be unique to Argentina. Obviously the alfores, we've talked about those before, but other things as well. The architecture is cool. In some areas it's cooler than others, but definitely an interesting little place to go for a walk. Now, if you're wondering how far I've walked so far, I've walked approximately three and a half miles. And so I'm kind of generally headed back to the apartment, but these neighborhoods just keep taking me to new fascinating places. So 
I will go where the road takes me. I reached the end of the walking streets and what's cool is it opens up into a little park a little green space so I'm gonna take a stroll through that and oh I was about to say and then I'm headed back to the apartment but I just see a cool clock tower over here I think we need to go look at it what do you guys think be patient with me guys but I'm walking through a city of 15 million and I am literally in the heart but I want you to hear the sounds of the nature in this little green space some blackbirds and a red breasted robin right there <laughs> And I have no idea what I just walked up on. I'm assuming maybe it's some sort of flag ceremony. Hola. Interesting. And look at this. This is the clock tower that I saw. And it looks like we have a perch kind of above the park right here. And in the background, we can see the port. Now, we visited Boca, La Boca earlier, a few episodes ago. I'm not sure we are relative to that, but I think we're fairly close actually because I remember seeing that clock tower but we gotta head back pretty soon because we've been walking for a long, long time and the snow's probably getting worried. So anyway, let's go get a close look at this clock tower and get out of here. All right, we just saw the changing of the guard up the hill, but it looks like this is a place where they monitor or they, they guard frequently Los Cados in La Gesta de las Isla Malvinas Atlantico. I think the emblems across the bottom there represent the different provinces of Argentina. And towards this end of sort of the Mamal of Memoriams, this is more of a modern, you can see the reflective glass but at this end definitely looks more cosmopolitan potentially I don't know I'll have to look at the map potentially more of a financial district so as I described at the end of sort of this mall area which is kind of between the area I described as the largest road in the world the mall area is kind of between there you have the obelisk at one end the clock tower at the other end I think it either road even continues past and the monuments and museums and historical sites continue past the obelisk. I didn't go that far, but nonetheless, this is definitely a nice little walking area and definitely a lot of history here. If you're a history buff, I'm sure you could really dig in and kind of learn what's going on down here. All right, I have come on my return. I have come across an area that looks to be a little more like street markets. And to be honest with you, this is something we haven't seen a lot of in Argentina. It's definitely a different neighborhood than the fancy 
uh, trinket booths and all that type of stuff. Definitely a different neighborhood. Uh, more homelessness going on here for sure. And uh, just all together a little bit maybe more authentic and unique. A different part of the city that I did not plan on attending today. And oh, this is a train station is what it is guys. I am at the train station. It dumps out right there. I guess maybe the subway system. Yes. Chipa. Wow. So definitely a colorful little area down here. I always like wandering through these bits. But again, you can see homeless is definitely more of a thing down in this area, unfortunately. Oh, what a walk this morning. I am looking for a pair of thongs. So again, this area seems to be, as I'm walking through here, more secondhand slash thrift store type stuff. Maybe more like a flea market we might see back in the USA. I'm not sure if flea market translate internationally. But anywhere, it's a place where people on the weekends set out their stuff. There's a lot of used stuff or maybe even unique stuff that you can't find in other areas. And kind of reminiscent of that but just all through this all around this train station people have sheets or blankets stretched out and all sorts of clothes sprawled out on it and yeah it's like a little market all right talk about adventures <laughs> over here by the train station I looked up and saw this little alleyway and you guys know I love some fried chicken. Look at that. But no fried chicken for me. It looks like this is sort of the alley between the storefronts on either side. But this definitely runs along the tracks. And so an interesting place nonetheless. But we're going to keep moving through here at a good pace. I hope the footage comes out, but we definitely need to move through this area. Look at all the wires dangling down. And up top you can see the balconies and the clothes hanging out to dry up there. And more of what we see Hola. more of what we see in a lot of Latin America everybody's out sort of scrubbing their stoop interesting but I think it's time for me to get out of this neighborhood what do you guys think Mm, that food smells good. A little carniceria right here. The back alleys of Buenos Aires. Well, I have to say, this was definitely an unexpected part of today's walk. I had no idea I'd be coming through these parts as I wander around. 
and I kept just thinking to myself that in Argentina I hadn't really seen any of these neighborhoods and bits and lo and behold I turn the corner and find one and I think like most cities you find them around the big train stations or what have you but in this little area this little alleyway it is 100% authentic and um, I'll just share with you that it definitely the smells are not bakeries and coffee shops and flowers rather urine feces and booze and other uh, not so pleasant smells but we're making it through here trying to get out of this neighborhood but it just keeps going so I'm not going back I'm gonna keep trying to push through here I don't know how safe it is but I see other people walking through here so I'm gonna assume I'm good but look at all these spiral staircases up to these apartments there's not really room in the in the alleyway for big stairwells <laughs> clearly it's not a elevator neighborhood but they do have all these little spiral staircases going up to these buildings. Absolutely fascinating. And as I pop out of the alleyways, it opens up and looks like a couple buildings have been knocked down. There's a little, a little park or playground here. Of course, soccer fields were in Argentina. What would you expect? But another little playground for the kids, some jungle gyms and other things like that. I thought I was out of the neighborhood, but I can see I got a long ways to go. So again, I need to hustle on through here, guys. Probably found myself in not one of the better neighborhoods in Argentina. So typical Kurt sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. And the engineer and me can't stand it. They've got a pulley up here and they're using that to hand over hand bags of cement up there <laughs> pretty cool but it wasn't over as quickly as I thought and I find myself back in another alley but I gotta be honest with you <laughs> this is really more interesting and fascinating to me than some of the other parts where y'all would feel more secure walking. But, just a crazy guy with a camera traipsing around the world, places I ought not be. So one of the problems with this neighborhood is there's not any side streets or at least that many. So you're coming along this alleyway and it just feels like you can see forever. And as much as I'd like to kind of scoot out of this neighborhood, the problem is there's not any side streets. So I got to find a way. I believe I'm actually walking along the tracks and I'm definitely getting some stairs, but I got to get out of here. All right, these guys stopped me in this neighborhood and said I should not be here. It's very bad. They're gonna give me a lift out of here. Thank you so much. You're beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Gracias. All right, I'm on a motorcycle now trying to get out of this neighborhood. I couldn't find a way out and somebody stopped me and said, there's no way you should be in here. This is very dangerous. So I'm on the back of a motorcycle and we're getting the heck out of here. <laughs> Como te llamas? Sean. Sean? 
Mucho gusto. Bueno. Este, este es como un barrio, este es una villa. Este barrio. Este es el barrio. Villa 31. Ah. Sí, Pero es no seguro. ¿Eh? Es no seguro. O sea, capaz que te ven así. Para ti es seguro, sí, sí, para no. mí no. No, pues tengo la calle filmando y estoy viendo acá, ¿entendés? Capaz que hay ah. gente que es mala, no solo, no solo, no, pero ahí. Ah. Hay gente, hay gente que es buena, gente mala. Ah, entiendo. Te ven así que vos no se vas a caer porque ah. te quiero probar, ¿entendés? Ah. Eso es lo que pasa. Pero sí, seguro. <risa> normal, como cualquier lado, gente tomando tereré, normal. Sí. So Sofia stopped me and helped me. What is your name? Yom. Yom? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for getting me out of there. Appreciate it. Gracias. All right. So we got out of that neighborhood and <laughs> they looked at me like I was crazy for being there. But I think, and I was essentially on the wrong side of the tracks. So the reason why the alleyways were so long is because there was no way to get over the tracks. There's just no way to get over there. And so it's kind of like a uh, another world, as you guys saw. But he dropped me off on the edge of the area. I'm walking under the tracks now, back to the place where apparently I belong. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little stroll through there. I did. I didn't feel in danger but I probably was a little naive, so go figure. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!